Okay, gonna go over uh, Kodu and making a crazy golf game. Uh, you can download Kodu for free. I've said it on another of the videos. You just type in Kodu into Google. It's by Microsoft, so it's only for PCs. It's not for Macs. Uh, you can actually get it for Xbox as well. I think you have to pay money for the Xbox version, but again, it's just for your programming, your coding. So I'm going to do this one. It takes a little bit longer to do. It's a little bit more complicated than the than the racing game one, but it shouldn't take me too long. So I'll go through it anyway. So I'm not going to go over the basics again. Those are on the other videos. So on here, um, I'm going to have to make sure that I've got a nice square. It's actually done already. Okay. Um, what you've got to do with the golf game is we've got to raise the levels up so that actually it falls down some holes. There's going to be pits in the way, so there's obstacles, and then there's going to be an end one that's going to be the winning goal thing, to, the ball to go into that one. So what we're going to have to do to start with is, this is important actually, don't go to these ones, it won't work. Go on to this one, just raising it up. And what I want to do is I want to raise the whole lot up, okay? So I need to make sure that the size of the brush, remember it has to be this one, otherwise you're going to start making mistakes if it's on these ones. And you can see at the top left corner here, it tells me the keys that I can use to make it bigger. So I'm going to use the arrow key to make it bigger. I want to get it to around about the same size as the other one. I want it to be exact, actually. So there we go. And all I do is just keep clicking and make it go up probably four levels would be fine. Now I want to make it smaller because now I want to put little squares inside it. So I'm going to press the left arrow key and keep coming down to make it smaller. Okay, now I'm going to put holes in it. Uh, what, what I need to do is I need to, I've pressed left click there accidentally. I should be pressing right click. It's not going to, it's quite difficult to get it exact on this. So it takes a little bit of a thing. So let's do that again. That one, always that one, left click to go down. All right, that should be fine on that one. Let's do a few holes. So right click on that one. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, as long as they're down a little bit, I could have that as the winning one, and these can be the obstacles one. So I'm going to put one here as well. See, it does that a little bit? It doesn't matter. It's fine. And I'll do one more. Actually, I might have this as the winning one because it's a little bit further away. And one more here. Okay. So we've got pits in the way. So we've got obstacles, and then I'm going to have this. This is the winning one over in the top left corner. Right. So the next thing that you need to do is I just need to colour the in. Okay, so we're going to use the colours as the sensing. Now I'm already at the end here, but I just literally press the arrow key to get all the way to the end. It doesn't matter what colour you choose, but these last ones are quite vivid, so they're quite good. I'm going to choose purple. I'm just going to click, left click. I'm on this one. I'm on the colours. I've gone all the way to the end just to say... Let's come back to the start there. So you just go all the way across all the way to the end, you can use the scroll left or right keys on the keyboard or just use the scroll on the wheel mouse and let's do... Right. I wanted the purple one actually which was right at the start because I'm going to have all the ones that are not uh, you know it's going to end the game as the purple ones so let's do that one, that one and that one and then I'm going to have and I am using the last ones again because they're easy, they're more vivid. I don't want to mess around with all the different patterns because it's just going to be more complicated. The simpler the colour, the better. Red one is the winning one. So, there you go. I haven't actually seen if I've done the holes correctly on there. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Right, so now I need to put the characters in. So here's the character one. Uh, click on that and then click here where you want to place it. And I want... Um, I'm just going to have Rover, he's the person that you're going to move around, he's massive at the moment, so I'm going to right click on him, again I'm on this one here so I can right click on him, change his size, I'm going to just bring him down, I'm going to have him smaller, it doesn't make much difference on that, and then I click on the character one, then click where I want to place the next thing, and I want there to be a ball, I'm going to have to make this smaller as well, so if I click, uh, the ball is here, right massive, right click on it, change the size, make it small, that's it, move that, that's it, fine, right, 
and now I've got to need to just program them. Okay, so I've got to think of it. It's similar to what we're doing in the scratch ones as well. I've got to think of it from the ball's point of view. So if the ball hits the purple, I want it to end the game. If the ball hits the red, I want it to win, and I want to program him just to move him around. So he's quite easy to do. So uh, when you press the keyboard and the arrows, I want it to move. That's all it is for him. Um, program the ball, so I'm right clicking on the ball. Okay, so this one, uh, when it actually, now this is weird a little bit, when it's on the land, I want it to sense stuff when it's on the land. Okay, so when on land, and it hits a certain type, right, so on the land, when it hits a type, now I've got my colours here, so I can just choose them. We're at the start again now, so purple, let's pro program the purple one. Uh, do, I want it to game, I want it to end. Okay, and then the last one I've got to do is more on the land, when it hits the type red, I want it to win, game, and then win, there you go, so now, him hitting the ball and touching it is automatic on the game anyway, so it doesn't make a difference, just to check him again, keyboard, arrows and move, let's press play, so hopefully, there it goes, game over, it looks, let's have a quick look at this, and then it should just. Oh, it's going to take me a little bit to see if I can actually do this. I'm not spend half my time here just trying to actually get it sorted. Let's see if we can do it. This is the problem. Let me actually be able to play the game. I've got to test out all the different things on it. Because if I'm not testing everything out on it, then that's what you'd just end the game again. Mm. Right, time's moved forward. I've cheated a little bit. I've moved it just for the video. If I don't get this now, it'd be unbelievable. Here we go. Dun Yay. So, so that's how you do it, that's simple, there's loads of different types of levels you could have, you could have terrain, you could make it a lot harder than that, I've just done a really simple one, just to show you the principles of it, but that's how you do a crazy golf game in Kodo.